there is a time when you have to kind of let them go and do their own thing, but also guide them. He's only allowed out in front of the house. It's a large park area and they're allowed to go out on their bikes in groups. If she ever goes down the park with her friends, it's quite a big park and there's a lot of houses around. She's got a mobile, she has to phone back all the time anyway, so we always know where they are. So we have a conversation every morning about talking to strangers and it, it sinks in a little bit each, each day. Look left and right and if there's none cars, I cross the road. Sit down and talk to them about it, not to them, but with them. You know, not point the finger and say, this is what you're going to do. Because a child will turn around and say, well, my friends aren't doing that, so I'll do what they do. Stick with your friends if you're out with them and don't talk to any strangers that you don't know or anything. One thing you should definitely do is to talk to your children about the arrangement of picking them up every day. That will either be uh, a relative or a, or, a, or a parent that will come and pick them up from school make it into a game where they say, OK, who's going to pick us up? I bet you can't tell me who's going to pick you up. The child then will come back and say, oh, I know who it is, and then they'll give them the information. It's amazing that they will pick it up if it's a game or a reward at the end of it. Run away, good eat. Run away, sit in there themselves, the shelves, the house. If the child is approached by someone, make as much noise as possible, they're vocal as possible, they draw attention to themselves um, and then they go and tell someone, even if it's their friends or it's, they go into a shop, a police station or um, maybe the, the DLR, any sort of transport hub um, where a responsible adult is going to be there. Talk to your children about where they should go if they get lost, you know, places like a bank or a post office or, or a uh, talk going up to policemen or traffic warden, um, somebody who would be in authority. It may sound, you know, draconian that you, every time you go out, you relay this information to the young person. But the more you do it, the more they'll understand. Discuss your children and help them memorise their address and phone number so that in case they do become lost, they can tell a trusted adult their contact details. If your child gets lost, um, Safer Strangers have another role, and that is to go and speak to them, to go and tell them that they're lost, to give them that phone number, hopefully a home number or mobile that you have, and a quick call can be made. If not, they can tell them what school they go to, and hopefully the Safer Stranger will contact the school and we'll get the details that way. There's lots of um, organisations and literature out there for parents and young children to read, but the internet is fantastic. The Met Police's um, Safe for Streets campaign, which young people from say five or six upwards can go on the internet and practice all these things they would do in real life. So they can make decisions, and those decisions, like in a, if you play in a video game, if something happens to you, it doesn't matter because it's a video game, and it gives them the chance to uh, learn for themselves. Help your child to keep safe, but to become independent, and help them develop their street sense as well.